find in the Office of Creative Inc Incubation. What? It's sealed. Oh, duh. There's a button or something here that we have to click on. Initiating ocular measurement. Oh, that's right. The eyeball. Uh, show your eye to the scanner. I'm kind of curious to find out what this does. Uh, let's just show the preserved eye anyways. Measurement complete. Ocular identification complete. Welcome, Clarence Mostly. Hey! Access granted. Welcome to the Office of Creative Incubation. My real name is Clarence. Little eight mile pun right there. Joke, I mean. Whatever. Man, this is kind of pretty. This is interesting, dude. I wonder what's going to be in here. Um, a lot of dead things, apparently. Whoa! Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That looks freaking cool. Not gonna lie, I really like that statue. I would probably, if someone made, like, like a, like a, like a toy or something, I would seriously buy this. But anyways, let's go ahead and get prepared for total war and mayhem. But first, so I'm not gonna lie, I've been playing this, uh, not the DLC, but the uh, the Outer Worlds in general on PC simultaneously as I'm playing this on Xbox. And you know what? It looks so much better on PC, which is not, it's not surprising for me to say, but you know what? I don't know. If I still like the Xbox version, don't get me wrong. Like it still runs great, obviously. There's nothing wrong with the Xbox version. It's just I don't know, it just aesthetically it just looks and feels better on the PC. So who knows? Maybe I'll play the next DLC on PC. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see it played on. I have both versions, of course, on the PC and on the uh, Xbox, so let me know down in the comments which ones you guys would like to see me play the next DLC on the channel. Spectrum Vodka. Okay then. What is that? Oh, the, the roof is completely cracked. Floor number two. This kind of reminds me of Bioshock for some reason. Doesn't it? Does, does it remind? Am I alone on this? Does this remind anybody of Bioshock? I really gotta play Bioshock 2, man. I never played Bioshock 2. And, uh, frankly speaking, the first one was a pre- It was- It's got one of the most memorable scenes in a video game I, I could ever experience. With, uh, Fontaine. It was so cool, man. That game's so cool. This one's really cool, too, though. I'm really enjoying it. Ah! I smell blood! You smell death. That was so good and strong. This dude over here didn't even hear it. He was like, nope. Don't want to do, don't want, don't want anything to do with it. That was 100% him just trying to defend himself. All right. I'm not going to go past this guy. I know there's more bodies over there that I want to check out, but I want to, I want to explore this room over here. We'll start here. Got some food. That needs to be sold. Some more junk over here too, of course. What is this? Oh, altered exo. Cracked exo suit. Are these legendaries? Of course they're not. Oh no, yeah, these are just the reskinned versions. Hold on, let me see something real quick. You know what's funny? I'm still wearing the hibernation suit with like crappy numbers. But then I have like the Chimera over here uh, that has 58 and stuff and a nice hat and I don't know. I don't, I, I haven't really needed any, uh, what's it called? Health or anything. I don't know why. Something there. Yes. I'm literally right in front of you, dude. Look at me, level 30. What did he hit me with? He hit me hard though. Man, I really wish I had 
hacking. My science is at 50. Let's go ahead and put some... Uh, Yeah, let's put some more into two-handed. I just love raw damage, you know what I mean? Um, let me see here. What could I take? I legitimately don't even know. I could go with ta uh, tactical time dilation. I mean, I guess I could start powering up some companions. The only companion perk that I have is this one. Only because I did have companions for a short time. And of course, every little ki every kill that they give that they ki that they do gives you a little bit of XP. So it helps. I don't need carry weight, dude. I have 140. That's that's really all you need. I could go with something convenience like, uh, like down 20% vendor prices. That'll make that one gun by the homeboy in the front a lot cheaper, but. That's so far and few uh, in between that you don't really need that, man. And it's very easy to save a bit, so it's kind of a useless perk, in my opinion. Uh, uh, tactical time dilation. Let me see here. <clears throat> no, I don't see anything. Consumable weight. Uh, health regeneration per kill companions ability cooldowns no companions legit i have no idea what i'm going to use let me see confidence there's something about blood and violence that helps you focus that's not disturbing at all your next attack after killing an enemy is a guaranteed critical hit but i mean let's be real is i mean i'm, I'm gonna click on this for now but i don't even think i need this you guys see it for yourself. Oh, this guy is really, really strong. Let me see. 10% damage per subsequent hit. This is 100% useless because I literally pretty much one-shot most enemies. And if they're not one-shot, it's they're probably going to die on the second hit. Solo sneaker. I could go with something sneaky-like, but no thank you. I could go with some damage resistance. I could go with some damage resistance and make myself even stronger in that sense. Um, yeah, let's go with some damage resistance. Let's just make them even beefier. It's not like I need any of it anyways, but whatever, I'll take it. I'll take it anyways. There's still a lot more enemies all of, all around. H2O2? What's two hydrogen and two oxygen? Hydrogen peroxide, is that what it is? Free lunch, best lunch? I don't know. I really don't know. Nothing in these lockers? Of course not, because why would there be? Ooh, dead bodies. Imagine if I actually, like, <laughs> upgraded my gear. Office of Creative Incubation. A spacious choice property, the best idea since uh, sliced pre-sliced bread. Department of Strategic Branding, Terminal Access. Welcome, M. Kumara messages from OCI cerebral community subject unacceptable results. All right, let me see. Uh, thank you for using GIMSI, your employer sanctioned messaging system. Friendly reminder your messages are company property, unauthorized reproduction, distribution, or deletion of GIMSI content may result in early termination of your employment. Please select the following results or options. All right, let me see. The first one from uh, OCI Cerebral Community to OCI Department of Strategic Branding. Subject, unacceptable results. The, o uh, the OCI Cerebral Community has hereby decided to, uh, uh, by unanimous vote, that the recent test results from Human Inquiry and Auditing, HIA, are uh, unacceptable, unattainable, and unsatisfactory. This message is informal is an informal expression of our dissatisfaction which will be formally 
declared by memorandum in the near future. While the community recognizes the marketing potential of insomnia and chemical dependency, the remaining side effects described in HIA's latest report are incomplete with the uh, or incompatible with the OCI's vision of the Adrenatime product. Ah, so this all has to do with Adrenatime. Uh, corporate auditors will expect to see a product that dramatically improves the long-term pro productivity of spacious choice by uh, uh, workers by reducing the need for rest and mitigation uh, and mitigating the effects of long-term melancholia mel melancholia we'll just call it melancholy the product delivered uh to hia introduces psychosis violent behavior paranoia and alarmingly disobedience oh is that what is this what's changing people because they've been talking about how people change here on this rock for some reason and conveniently this drug this version if you will of adrena time or just adrena time in general has apparently psychosis violent behavior and paranoia and and alarmingly disobedient so maybe that's what's changing people i don't know the oci cannot uh, accept a product that uh, transforms long-term users into uh, dissidents the damage to our corporate image will inevitably benefit uh our rivals at auntie cleo got it i really think that's what's going on i think it's the drug that's changing people uh, let me see uh gorgon internal messaging system interface it's not the best choice it's the only choice <clears throat> okay let me see to my college in the oci cerebral community i share your concerns but not your alarm in times like these i encourage you to recall a passage from our spaces choice users manual the failure of subordinates must never become failures of leadership scum chapter 21 <laughs> i'm not gonna let it that's a clever that's a clever name <laughs> uh this game is funny dude uh the meaning is simply <clears throat> it's simply itself hia has failed to deliver acceptable results because they have failed to perform their professional obliga obligations my esteemed colleagues you and i press uh possess, bleh, possess a number of low given qualifications but we have <laughs> we have not uh relegated to lab coat work let me reiterate we are not test tube jockeys we are leaders. HIA's purpose is to deliver the test results. Our purpose is to deliver a quarterly report. I'd like to, I'd like you to reach out to Miriam Kumara at Strategic Branding. Have her team uh, clean up HIA's report. Trim the fat and tuck in the guts. Make it look presentable for our auditors. I guess. I guess in principle that makes sense. You always want to be presentable, uh, trim all the stuff that's you know uh, redundant or it's just not necessary to be in the report. Obviously, so trimming the fat and cut and tucking in the guts to make it look presentable and make it nice is inherently a good thing in business. However, with the intentions of some of these corporate entities, uh, I don't think it has anything to do with the integrity of the company. I think. In, in the traditional sense, I think it has everything to do with protecting the, the image of the company just so that they could screw over more people. B antitrust things, essentially. To OCI Cerebral Community uh, Committee, Subject Data present, uh, Presentability. Alright, let's find out more about this. My team and I have finished reviewing HIA's latest... Uh, latest experimental report we believe the failure of the re of this report uh, is manifest in its flagrant uh, disregard for company approved language to that end we have drafted a revised report edited with language consent with the spacers choice company vision see I, I i think i think the intent is coming out right there in that first paragraph already uh, the hia's original report mentions clear evidence of dangerous side effects associated with using the adrena time product including but not limited to paranoia violent confusion uh chemical disobedience and dis distant adjacent behavior 
We propose the following cognitive revi revisions. One, danger side effects, exciting collateral benefits. You've got to be freaking kidding me. <laughs> Two, paranoia, dramatically heightened attention. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, violent three, violent confusion, physically assertive behavior. Yeah, that's one way to put it. All right, four, chemical dependence, metabolic capabilities. Oh, oh my God. Five, dissonant adjacent behavior. Any mention of this uh, dissonant behavior in this report may encourage dissonance. Uh, may encourage dissonance. Recommend cutting this phrase comp uh, entirely out of our readers. Wow. I guess I was 100% right. It was 100% to manipulate the public. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, welcome C. Mosley. Uh, good fellow L subject on the latest. <clears throat> okay. Mr. Lawrence Goodfellow. Fortuitously, I... Uh, I have had the opportunity to review the latest test results from Human Inquiry. I agree with you, with, uh, with your and the community's general assessment that these test results are unacceptable. The latest experimental sample of Adrena Time demonstrates a 15 out of 17 possible symptoms in my rubric of dangerous, lethal, or otherwise, uh, otherwise high-risk side effects. I have sent a, a full report of I have sent a full uh, report to your desk the abstract of which is as follows Adrena time is uh, uh, Adrena time in its current state fails to meet this product standards by my calculations Adrena time uh, users uh, trade short-term improvements in productivity for long-term losses in productivity specifically Dead workers are unpredictable, uh, uh, unproductive, unproductive workers. You wouldn't say dead workers are non workers, not unproductive workers, because they're dead. But okay, that's one way to put it. <laughs> they do suffer a major loss in productivity if they're missing workers, though. So I guess in that sense, it makes sense. But the, the way it's worded, it says dead workers are unproductive workers. That, in a sense, doesn't make sense only because dead workers are non-workers. Therefore, they have no production. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe it's just me overthinking it, but whatever. Let me see. Whenever a calculation produces an unforeseen result, it is uh, prudent to take a look at one's numbers. Incorrect numbers lead to flawed calculations. Yep, that's true. If, <clears throat> if the HIA's calculations are sound, then the numbers... That is to say, the drugs provided by Chem Labs must be flawed. Your esteemed colleague, M. Clarence Mosley. Have we met this person? I don't know. It sounds familiar. Mr. Lawrence Goodfellow, I have not yet received your correspondence regarding my previous letter. I can only assume you are still to deploy a per, per sure, sure, whatever that whole two word phrases i don't know chewing over my commentary i have several additional insights which i have collated collated in whatever uh into an itemized list and sent your security our secretary here's my summary i believe the root of the problem lies in the chems lab as mentioned in my previous letter, incorrect numbers lead to flawed cal calculations. The problem must therefore be found in Dr. Jasper's law and is, and his stewardship of the chem lab. Dr. Lowe is a notoriously uh, lagace, sure, and careless manager, and pardon my language, a poor scientist. Chem lab must provide HIA with with a safety, high quality, carefully refined drug, uh, with which it, uh, with which to conduct tests. This splash dash artless, high risk formula Chem lab has been delivering to HIA uh, can only result in unacceptable test results. I understand that safety and high quality development are often 
antithetical uh, to the corporate strategy of spacious choice. But in my life, I have found that the perspective of an outsider can be helpful. Awaiting your response, Miss Clarice Mosley. To Mr. Lawrence Goodfellow, your response to my previous two letters are conspicuous by their absence. Based on my analysis of your personality type, dietary habits, patterns of speech, and mode of dress, I must conclude with reasonable certainty that your silence stems from trepidation and anxiety. If I might presume to offer you with some uh, cultivate with some advice cultivated after years of living in Byzantium, I may, uh, may I suggest that your anxiety stems merely from ignorance. Ignorance is the latest, it is the easiest of vices to rectify and uh, requires only le uh, learning and heeding the advice of one's betters. The, su the success and failures of any project depends on the readiness of its constituent staff to perform their mandated duties. Scientists perform, exper uh, uh, scientists perform experiments. Researchers research, managers manage. Uh, when one of these roles acts outside of its limitations, chaos is introduced into the system. Take heart. You need not fear the burden of management. The secret of good leadership is strong oversight combined with careful uh, facetious numerically numerically driven and scientifically supported management the turbulence experienced by this project is empath uh, empathetically uh empathetically i can't i don't know uh not the fault of oci however uh it's uh it is the role and duty of the oci to fix these problems Ours is not only department capable of riding the ship of innovation in the waters of chaos with paternal affection, Clarence Mosley. So this Clarence Mosley doesn't sound inherently bad. Um, I have my reservations though, seeing as he does work for Spacer's Choice. And uh, let's be real, Spacer's Choice, along with most of the corporate entities in this game, are not good, so to speak. So it should be pretty interesting to see more about this Clor uh, Clarence Lawrence, or whatever his name is. Alright, so let's get out of this room since we're officially done with this room. Did we search this? Yes, we did. This is where we killed that one guy. He's looted. This guy's looted already too. Let's look over to the left to make sure there's no boxes or anything. Well, that corporate commander didn't have anything going for him. There's still a few enemies in here. There's one right there, one right there. So there's two. How did I get in there? Oh, never mind. Right here. All right, ready? Let's go! Ouch! Where's this guy? Oh, how did I miss? That second one didn't miss, though. He hit me hard, though. Yeah, these guys don't really stand a chance now, do they? Let me go around. Wait, hold up. I want this box. His real name is Clarence. Oh wait, Clarence is the Clarence is the dude that we met, isn't it? Over at the uh, uh rat uh sprat shack, the writer. Oh no, wait, oh, is it the writer? I don't know. I don't remember. All right. Oh, there's somebody right there. He's just chilling. He doesn't even see me. All right, there's a terminal right here too. So let's go and. <laughs> Dude, he was a great dancer. Did you guys see him? Give me that bracelet. That's pretty much the entire room. There's just some ammo, which I am going to take because it's... Although it doesn't produce a lot of money, to be honest. 
it's uh it's good to sell since i'm a melee character i really don't need it but i'm still gonna take it anyways did i already check the uh, cash register i did or if i didn't there was nothing in there to begin with so all right let's go so office of creative okay uh department of creative terminal access okay instructions uh, feeling lethargic after a long day of creative incubation. Okay, this is just like some advertising. Yeah, there's there's nothing in here. Aha! Someone's right there. Let's go ahead and take those. Run! Oh! Wait, where'd you go? Ow, he hit me. There you are. What's up, bro? Why is the music still... Oh, God. Oh, God. That's why. No, get your butt over here, you stupid crack shot. <laughs> that was awesome. Cool. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce, dude. We absolutely obliterated these enemies. This hammer is ridiculously strong, dude. As of now, this does... What does this do? 2,267 damage. That's not counting the effects that this does. Because this does, like, all of the damage types. And it's pretty... It's pretty... It's pretty amazing, to be honest. I like this weapon a lot. Science weapons are pretty fun. Some of them are pretty... I don't want to say useless, because they all have a purpose to them, but... They're more for fun, in my opinion. Oh! Ah, he's upstairs. All right, let's go. Let's go take him out real quick. Where'd you go? Oh, you're right here. Where'd you go? Beginning security patrol. Okay, I'm so confused right now. Where in the world did he go? Someone's coming in. It's probably the robot. Finally. It's a drug drone. That's why he wasn't attacking me. He was just delivering the product, I guess. There's a lot of stuff in here. Look at that. There's another box right here. How much money do I have? 6,300. That's not bad if I do say so myself. Seeing as I came in to this world, if you will, with only a hundred, just over a hundred bits. And I still need to go sell some stuff, dude. This is only going to go up. Did I check over there? No, there's a big box over there that I missed. Let me make sure I loot everyone and everything, though. Oh, there's a terminal back here, too. Plasma Carbine Ultra. Some energy weapons. Whatever, whenever I get encumbered, whenever I pick up some stuff, I'm just gonna start scrapping, uh, you know, weapons and armor. So at least I have some stuff to fix my stuff, my equipment. Bit cartridge. All right, let's see here. Security notice. Noticed by the order of Lawrence Goodfellow, auditorium uh, projector room must be must remain sealed until further notice. Please answer any inquiries by uh, visiting auditors with the following pre-approved message. Mr. Goodfellow is excited to inform you that our projector room is under is undergoing upgrades in pre uh, pre pre. pre, pre Oh, preparation. Oh my god, I can't believe I couldn't read that word for some reason. Uh, 
for our grand quarterly report presentation. We thank you uh, for your patience. Please return the res uh, to the reception desk and request a complimentary bottle of Zero G Brew on auditing. If you are reading this memo, you are the designated cons uh, sure of this auditorium. Please commit the following message uh, to your memory when guiding auditors along with a tour of the office. What is an auditorium? Spacer's Choice Manual of Definitions describes an auditorium as, oh my god, an actual definition, as a place where aud auditing takes place. Here you will enjoy all familiar, low-cost, budget-friendly amenities that make Spacer's, Spacer's Choice the leading brand in affordable entertainment. Satisfy your uh, posture in our semi-reclining chair. Semi-reclining chairs? Okay, what does that mean? Uh, enjoy a moderately cold bottle of Zero-G uh, Brew. Relax. As you enjoy this special presentation of Project Gorgon Quarterly Review, brought to you by the Office of Creative Incubation. No report this quarter. <clears throat> Everyone, I'm going to be blunt because I want you to understand the gravity of the situation. Someone or several someone sabotaged our quarterly reports. They're all gone. In rever... In, in irretrievably damaged the cerebral communities uh, committees putting their heads together to come up with a solution we hope to have one before the auditors arrive oh my god they're about to have a quarterly report with no quarterly report also who sabotaged that's interesting in the meantime here's what I need you all to do one do not, under any circumstances, talk about the sabotage to anyone outside the office. Two, we need to soften the language. Studies show that repeated use of the word sabotage can incite sabotage in people who lack moral fiber. I'm not uh, taking any chances. I need you all to come up with an alternative way to describe the sabotage. Something like the incident. Okay, but not so obvious. No report this quarter. We've received all your uh, suggestions. After much deliberation, the cerebral community has unanimous, unanimously voted to refer to the sabotage as incident. Uh, the sabotage incident as the incident. I guess they're going with the obvious that they said they didn't want. Okay, well that's nice. Let me see, do I have... I don't know, let's go. Zero G Brew. Oh, what's this? About your test subject, I assume you're trying new formulations on humans, correct? Where did they come from, Dr. Ambrose? <clears throat> they come from Tartarus, don't they? They do. Why the reluctance? Providing life-affirming employment to the indigent, the criminal, the criminally indigent. Well, that's a social good, don't you agree? I have a staff meeting to attend. Excuse me. She's... She's denying, or at least trying to cover something, cover the whole situation. Is Roscoe the one that sabotaged? Maybe, I don't know. Anything interesting here for me? Nope. Wait, it's sealed. How do I get out of here? Oh. When did I get the maintenance key? Don't know. I just don't know. Oh, we're back. We're back at the beginning. Wait, hold up. Did I, did I miss something? 
I did miss something because it's in this room somewhere. It's upstairs, whatever it is. So how do I get up there? That's the big question. Okay. So instead of going down, we need to go up. There's got to be a ladder or something, right? Oh! Okay, yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I go around this way? I haven't been this way, have I? I don't think I have. Mainly because there's still stuff I haven't uh, looted. Looting is my way of knowing where I've been and where I give give it to me. Yeah, looting is the way I like to know where I've been and haven't been. Okay, I guess we're going this way since there's a body right here. So I could go downstairs or that way. Let's go downstairs first. Oh, I'm, I'm over encumbered. So let's go ahead... I want to keep all right we'll break a ton of this down and then we'll switch over to weapons and do the exact same thing we'll start from here we'll keep a few for selling purposes but for the most part I want to I need parts for for me to be able to fix my weapons and armor, you know? <clears throat> Although I could always just find parts. Yeah, see, I thought this was a good idea to come downstairs first, seeing as it's a dead end and there's nothing there. Ooh, got a hat. And the splash resistant thing. Oh, hello. Ooh, two for one special. Buy one, get one free. Very nice. Give me all of your stuff. Everything. I must take it all. Stun baton. Do I have money in here? Why, yes, I do. Give it to me. Zero G brew. Oh, what's up, bro? <laughs> he never saw that one coming. Loki, I kind of feel bad, but then I kind of don't either. So, yeah, there's that. So this is the other way, right? Yeah, so we went in through here. And we exited through here, so that's good. Just means that we're... We're making progress. So I think we gotta go that way, but I wanna check what's over here first. Just some dead corporate commanders. There's a ton of corporate commanders, dude. They're all dead. Get away from me! Oh my god, that guy was tanky! He had a ton of health. There's another one, I think, somewhere. Okay, so I think we're done and we could progress down that way. Because that doesn't seem like there's anything else over there. Are we on the top floor? Can I read this? No? Alright. No terminals to be read. Have I been here? Oh, there. I have been here. So then how do I get over there?
There has to be a way. Oh! Found it. This place is pretty elaborate, all things considering. There was a big battle here, dude. I think this is where the big standoff was. Between the Marauders and... And, ev and uh, the, the corporate entity. So, have I been here? Oh, what's up, bro? I think, uh, I think you have some broken parts there. Ah, this is the board meeting. Or the, the where the meeting takes, meetings take place. Okay, let's take that. There's a bunch of little knickknacks here to, and there to take. Perfecto. Wait, can I read this? OCI Cerebral Community Minutes. Yes, we got the meet the meeting minutes. The meeting began with a traditional rec uh, recitation of a passage from the Spacer's, to uh, Spacer's Toys. What am I talking about here? Dude, I'm getting tongue twisted like crazy. Uh, passage from the Spacer's Choice user's manual. Following... Followed by regulation roll claw, a call, every member of the cerebral community was present. A motion to implement the revised guidelines of linguistic cleanliness and a company approved language was brought to the table. The motions passed unanimously. The motion to award Mer Miriam Kumara and Lawrence Goodfellow with the commendations on their permanent record was brought to the table. The motion passed unanimously. A motion to file a demerit on the permanent records of, Do of Dr. Jasper Lau and Dr. Marion Blakesley was brought to the table. The uh, motion passed unanimously. That's sad. They got de they got demerits, basically. Um, the motion to redact any record of derelict employees, missing employees, employee desertion, or incidents of workplace violence from official company documents was brought to the table the motion passed unanimously why does that not surprise me i mean let's be real they they're they'll do anything to cover their own ass even if it's bad inherently morally or legally a motion to dismiss the meeting uh early was brought to the table by lawrence goodfellow the uh in the spirit of convenient uh convivially uh, and good and good humor. The motion was likewise passed unanimously. The cerebral community adjourned for zero G and cigarettes. Of course they did, because why would they do anything else than to take a, like a ten minute break on a ten minute meeting? They talk about being productive and everything, and then they have meetings like that. That's I don't know. These corporate entities in this game, I swear. Back to the basics? Is this a... It's not. I, I thought it had like a cool, uh, unique name. But it wasn't. It wasn't unique at all, actually. Ooh. I thought I saw that. This place is literally huge. And I missed an entire spot on the other... Oh, I found the office. Alright, we'll read that in a second. Champion's tossball stick. This is not a unique... You see champion's sticks everywhere. Unfortunately. But now that I know they could be mountain, I should, mounted, I should probably look at mounts for them. Just in case, you know? Some loggers, some teas, a bunch of bits. Flurry? This has to be a legendary. <gasps> Makes the worst winter storm look like a slight drizzle. The longer it rages, the faster this weapon will blurry or bury foes. Alright, alright. 
So a red fedora. This one isn't unique. I've seen those before. Although this would go great with the chimera, I think. Dude, that's cool that we got a, a unique though. All right. This guy has a plasma carbine next to him. Pretty sure I'm over encumbered. I am. Top left, you can see it. So let's get rid of some weapons again. All right, I'm no longer encumbered, but I'm still going to take away some more. We'll we'll do two more. And then we'll do some armor. We'll do everything after that uh, Spacious Choice Heavy Armor. Except maybe the hat. I think I want to keep the hat just so that it looks good with this. I think that would be cool. I, I don't know. I have this thing where everything has to match. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Admin Functions. Unlock Synthesis and Manufacturing Central. Center. All right, override synthesis and manufacturing center lockdown. Okay, return. Return to root. Messages. Incoming messages. All right, from Ambrose. Ooh, Olivia Ambrose. This is Ambrose O. That's... That's Will, Will Minnie's mom, right? So, see, bring, the, uh, bring them to me immediately. And for fuck's sake, don't let the journalist off the fucking asteroid. Dr. Olivia Ambrose, Project Director, Spacer's Choice, Pharmaceuticals, Research and Development. Okay. Uh, you think you can hide from me, you little twerp? Wow, she's very hostile, isn't she? That was This is the second one in a row that she was just very hostile. I know a serum... Uh, that will make you feel as if you uh, you've lived a thousand years in just eight hours How would you like to spend a night in waste process processing cheers Ollie? Wow, okay outgoing messages So this is outgoing now If you are receiving this message, I'm currently unavailable. In my absence, I have instructed my secretary, Herbert Harrell, to reply to any incoming messages with this pre-approved response. Vicariously, Lawrence. Okay. Dr. Ambrose. Great timing. I was just sending Herbie over... Uh, to your department with the preliminary production schedule as with so much of the work we do at the OCI the des uh, design of a production schedule is more of an art than a science the times tables and milestones are less contractual ob uh, contractual obligation and more aspirational cart uh, cartography respectfully Lawrence I knew I oh God! sniffing about. You best go back the way you came. There's nothing for you here. But there is. I found Flurry. Uh, <laughs> what's a weasel? <laughs> a nosy rodent with a mind the size of a grape. Not unlike you. This Thank you. This place is a graveyard. All that was done here should be forgotten and left to rot. Who is this person? Ah, uh, that's... That's interesting. It sounds like this guy's trying to make sure this place stays, or at least the information stays here. I don't know. Ah... Uh, What's the best argument you got? You're hiding something. I'll find out. Gorgon is the birthplace of Marauders. We created them here, in this very facility. They are our misbegotten children. Ah, got it. Born of hubris and vanity. They hold no fondness for trespassers. 
I've placed the facility under emergency lockdown to keep them safe. Let the Marauders die in peace, or I will make certain that you die with them. So then, Marauders are not raiders inherently, they're just... I guess, people who have gotten some medically... Uh, some... Some me medical condition due to some side effects of, you know, drugs. Essentially is what happened. I kind of, I kind of feel bad for Marauders now. When you really think about it. Okay. So I'm taking it that this is the exit. I want to explore as much as possible. Get out of here. I love this weapon. It's so much fun. Okay. So, I don't want to go too far because we did miss a spot or a location. Unless this goes around to that location, then that would be great. Can I read this? Nope. I can read that, but let's go ahead and finish loot. What am I stuck on? Oh, the chair? Give me that lighter. That's everything, huh? Oh, no, there's this bin, which has absolutely nothing, so I guess it was it. So, let's read this. Uh... Secre uh, secretary to Mr. Goodfellow, Harold. Okay, cool. Memo, okay. Uh, oh, this is Herbie. It's a secretary. I uh, got it. Herbie, take a uh, memo. Actually, hang on. Let me get a cigarette. All right, take a memo. What? Why did he say it twice? Weird. I want to personally walk down to HIA and wrap my hands around the necks of every single law forsaken excuse for a researcher who's in detriment contra uh con in detriment contracts with uh we were stupid enough to sign. Who signed those anyways? Were they drunk at the time? Why are they hiring researchers who uh can deliver the test results we want? Am I crazy? Is this an un, uh, reasonable ex expectation? Expectation? Is supply and demand a foreign concept to these people? When I request a zero G brew, I expect a moderately cold glass of something reasonably alcoholic in my hand, slapped with a Spacer's Choice brand. When I request test results, I expect to see scientifically proven. Uh, medically verified evidence that Adrena Time is a miracle drug. I didn't ask for a long list of dangerous side effects. I asked for a, uh, adjectives. Adjectives. I can't uh, turn high rate of violence confusion into marketing copy. Uh, Herbie. What in law's name am I supposed to do with the side effects include uh, paranoia and suicide? A lot of, to, in their defense though, a lot of drugs even in our own wor world have paranoia and suicide as side effects. Like not actual suicide, but uh, like ha make you feeling suicidal, you know? Uh, HIA just screwed us with our uh, pants on. The cerebral community is losing their collective mind uh, now. I need to go pat them all on the shoulder and wipe away their sad little tears and tell them everything's going to be all right. Why are you still typing? Don't put that down. I was just rambling. All right. Herbie, take a memo. Why does he keep saying that? Is that what he's supposed to say? I don't know. I'm getting real sick of Clarence Mosley. Wow, that was that was a start to this to this memo. But alright, let's see. Remind me again why we brought him on this project? He's not part of Spacer's Choice family. He's never been a part of Spacer's Choice family. The Mosleys, uh, what do they do again? Oh yeah, they peddle furniture. I'm a manager at Halcyon's most recognizable brand name in affordability, in affordable goods and services. I don't need management uh, advice from some guy whose family 
designed footstools. Actuaries should stick to actual work. Don't go advising me to turn the screw on Jasper Lowe and those lab coats at Chem. I know what I'm doing. Hang on, I need a cigarette. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, take a memo. We need to turn the screw on Jasper Lowe and those lab coats at Chem. I want to draft up a, an official order, tell Chem, hang on, let me think. Yeah, tell Chem they need to fire one of the uh, one in 10 researchers and uh, that we're slashing their deadlines in half. It's Roman, it's a Roman solution. We could learn a lot from them. The Romans, they pretty much invented discipline. Yeah, but uh, the Romans don't necessarily exist in the way they remember him though. Ah, it did go full circle. So that's perfect. Let's go upstairs now. Wait, what is this? Comms Tower Terminal. So that's this entire building. 